Warning, viewer discretion is advised. This video contains disgusting grimy hair tools, so if you're easily grossed out, please do not continue watching this video, but by all means, find another video on my channel to watch. Thank you! Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in for another video. If you're new, welcome and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button down below. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I clean my hair tools for my natural hair. That includes my edge brushes and just brushes in general. To be quite honest with you, I don't know the set time frame of when you need to clean your brushes or how often. If it's like every month, every three months, I don't know. I just clean it based upon what I see in my hair tools. So if I see like this thick crustacean of just gunk and junk, and hair product buildup in my brushes, that's when I know it's time to clean it. It can look very disgusting when you have excess product buildup, dead skin, bacteria, all this stuff built up into your hair tools. And you definitely don't want that transferring back onto your hair or every time you do a wash day or style or whatever it may be, you definitely don't want those things transferring to your hair again, especially when you just washed your hair, everything is a nice clean slate. You definitely don't want that bacteria and dead skin and product buildup from other products transferring over, especially if you're using different products so you don't want old products blending in with new products that you're putting on your hair. So that can be a catastrophe. And that's why it's very important to ensure that you're cleaning your hair tools very thoroughly. So that way you're not continuously just building up product, not only on your tools, but also on your hair. And they can start to stink and smell and have this odor trapped in, in these tools. And you definitely don't want that carried onto your hair, especially, like I said, if you are starting out on clean hair you do not want to mess up your nice wash day that you built up all week to get to to ruin it with nasty hair tools so i'm just going to show you real quickly what i do and what i use to clean my hair tools once all that junk and crustacean starts to build up so without further ado let's get started so these are my hair tools my itch brushes here and then my regular uh, brushes. These are the ones that I use most often and these are the ones that accumulate more product build up quickly and easily. So these are the ones I'll be showing you how I clean. Right now my hair tools are at their nastiest and they definitely need to be clean. So there's no way that I'm about to put this right here on my hair on my edges. So I'm not about to put any more edge gel on this uh, nasty edge brush and put this on my edges. So this has got to come off. To begin, I start by lying my brushes on a paper towel to collect and catch any of the hair and grime from the brushes and then toss the paper towel for easy cleanup. Next, I like to use a fine tooth comb and rake all the hair out of the brushes to minimize the amount of hair and gunk going down the drain. And as you can see, one pass just about cleaned this brush completely. Next, I'll fill my sink with hot water, but I want my water to be extra hot to sterilize my brushes. So I have some boiling water in my kettle and I'll be slowly pouring it in. The products I use to clean my brushes include apple cider vinegar, which is highly acidic and cuts the grime, and a really good clarifying shampoo to wash off any excess residue. On a clean towel, I'm going to thoroughly saturate the brush heads using the apple cider vinegar to begin loosening up and dissolving the buildup. I like to massage the apple cider vinegar in with my fingers to gently break up that buildup. Once that's done, I'm going to place the brushes in the water and allow them to soak for several minutes. So now that the water has cooled down a bit, I'm going to use a fine tooth comb to remove any buildup in the crevices of the bristles. clearly 
see I have really ruined the wood finish of this brush, but it was only two or three dollars at the dollar store, so you get what you pay for. So the next step of the cleaning process is shampooing my brush heads with either one of these clarifying shampoos, just to give it a final wash and to deodorize. I'll start with the big brushes first and use my edge brush to clean around the edges of them to remove any final residue along the sides of the brushes and bristles, and then I wash my edge brushes last. And lastly, I'll just lay them on a paper towel and allow them to air dry. So that concludes the video guys. I hope I was very thorough in how I clean my brushes and the reason why it's so important to clean your brushes. Now I can begin my next wash day with fresh clean tools for my fresh clean hair. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye!